Hello and greetings from Percentilers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 20th video of uh, the 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. With this video, we are 20 videos down and we have completed 20% successfully with all your love and support. I sincerely hope that you have had a lot of new learnings uh, from our videos. I hope you will continue to check our videos and keep learning from from them so let's see the present set the championship i have named it please read so the data has been given in three slides this this and this so you may note down the table or take a snapshot and then read these fine so first i want to think about the table first let us see which points are of uh, maximum utility at the first so i would like to take something from point two first no player got less than one third of the maximum points which means that suppose in round one the maximum points are 30 that means nobody got less than one third means less than 10 nobody got less than 10 and since each num each number is a prime number that's written in the first point which means that the prime numbers greater than 10 and less than 30 which are not mentioned here in the first round are 11 13 is mentioned so 17 19 then uh, 23 is mentioned then 29 see exactly four prime numbers were remaining and exactly four places are blank similarly in the second round the prime numbers which are eligible should be greater than 20 by 3 6.66 6 yani ki the prime numbers which are eligible are 7 11 which is already mentioned so 13 17 and 19 we have to stop because maximum points are 20 and the same prime numbers down in round 3 also so usko baad mein dekhte hain filhal let us see what other so this we understood that one player got eliminated after each round points in each column and each row are distinct which makes it a pseudo kind of situation ki koi number likha hai to wo us row aur us column mein dobara to nahi aayega now let us think about who got the minimum in round 1 so the person who gets 11 points will be eliminated in round 1 so clearly it cannot be a because A gets 11 points in round 2. Clearly it cannot be D. Because D reaches round 3. How can he be eliminated after round 2? So it could be B or E. One between B and E got 11 points. Abhi kisko mila hai? Uske liye hume 5th point help karega. In round 1, A got more points than E. Who himself got more points than B. So E got more than B. That means between B and E, E cannot be eliminated. It, it was B who got eliminated. So I would write 11. And then not applicable, not applicable. In the rounds after that for B. Now 11 is also gone. So among A, D and E, one will get 17. But A cannot get 17 points because A got more points than E. D cannot get 17 points because D gets 17 points in the third round. Which makes E as the person who gets 17 points in the first round. Now between A and D, it is written that the player who got maximum score in round one so clearly it has to be the person who gets 29 points in round one so हमारे पास दो numbers रह गए 19 and 29 so 29 हम किसे देंगे is the player who gets eliminated in round three now just imagine in round three you can see already two numbers written 17 and 11 तो ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है कि D eliminate हो जाए round three में so D definitely did not get eliminated in round 3. That implies that it has to be A who gets 29 points and D got 19 points. Round 1, we have finished. Now, what will we do with help? The player who got eliminated in round 2 has an aggregate of 24 points. Now, look, 24 points can be done in C because for that you have to write 11 here but you cannot write 11. Because 11 is not D to be done because for that, you first, first thing is that D reaches round 3. So, that's the thing. E has to be the person who gets, 20, who gets eliminated 
in round टू so is the person who gets सेवन and सेवनटीन and सेवन makes ट्वेंटी फोर बहुत सारे रीजन्स थे ऑब्वियसली द पर्सन हु इज गेटिंग सेवन पॉइंट्स विल गेट एलिमिनेटेड एंड सेवन में क्या जोड़ें कि ट्वेंटी फोर बन जाए तो इट हैज़ टू बी सेवनटीन सो द पर्सन हुट सेवनटीन इन द फर्स्ट राउंड वुड बी एलिमिनेटेड एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा सो मेनी थिंग्स वर देयर ओके सो सेवनटीन हैज़ बीन प्लेस्ड नाउ इन राउंड टू इफ यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट एंड सी द सुडोकू प्रिंसिपल विच वॉज मैंशनड इन द क्वेश्चन दैट nobody gets the same point in two rounds or no two people get the same points us hisab se we have we are left with three numbers 13 17 and 19 now d cannot get 17 or 19 in the second round that means d has to get 13 in the second round okay or 17 or 19 c or f mein se kisi ke paas jayenge jiske liye mere paas abhi enough information nahi hai okay let us look at Round three once. So round three me we know that A has to get eliminated, and the prime numbers allowed are seven, eleven is already mentioned, thirteen, seventeen is already mentioned, nineteen. Okay, so there are three prime numbers given, allowed, but there are only two spaces left. Okay, so clearly it has to be the person who gets seven, eleven wala to eliminate ho nahi raha hai. Okay, so A has to get eliminated, so A must be getting seven. So seven is placed, and you can see between thirteen and nineteen, you cannot write thirteen in the C's column. So nineteen has to be written here. So apna third round ka bhi kam ho gaya, and now we clearly know what number has to be written here: seventeen and nineteen here. So with this, we are successful in filling out the table completely without any ambiguity. If you have any doubt at any point, please pause the video, go there, figure it out, sort it out. and then get to the questions okay so there are five questions all the questions can be quickly answered looking at the table who got eliminated in round 1 so round 1 mein kiska sabse kam score hai b got eliminated in round 1 it is b who received the highest points in round 1 it was a as we saw number of points received by c in round 2 was 17 ye humne abhi abhi nikala tha who received the third highest points in round 3 third highest okay so highest second highest third highest f is the person who received third highest points in round 3 and who was declared as the champion at the end of the tournament a c d ko calculate karke dekh lete hain so a ka sum aa raha hai 47 C का सम आता है 49 so clearly it cannot be A and D का सम आता है 49 now how can C and D both be the winners so let's have a look so F has a total of 53 so none of these is the answer so F has to be the champion of this tournament so that would be all for this set guys i would like to inform you especially the people who are seeing this video as their first video of our series that you can receive these sets in the pdf format beforehand so that you can make a collection and you can try with all your efforts and capacity for that you you will have to join our whatsapp group the link of which is mentioned in the details of the video thank you so very much for watching and please do subscribe to us if you like our selection of question and the way of explanation for that you can just click on the link which is showing on your screen right away thank you so very much this is mayank